Great, and hello everyone. Um, tonight I'm going to be continuing with my playthrough, well actually probably will be finishing playthrough of Riven. Um, I don't think there's an awful lot left actually. Uh, made some major progress the last time, worked through some of the main puzzles. And um, I think there's only a couple bits left to do. Those um, fire marble things, the spinny domes, I think all of the books lead to the same place. So there is just the one thing to do with that. And then uh, there's the microscope thing. Whatever that weird rocket ship looking thing is. I think that's it. Now, depending on how long that takes, I may end up wrapping up a little bit early tonight. Uh, but I do have the third game installed and ready to play. If this takes just like a couple of minutes, can then switch over. Um, the third game, Exile, is one that doesn't have a remake yet. I can only assume that they're starting to work on it. I guess it depends on how well the uh, the remakes of the first and second one are doing. But I figure if they're doing well enough that they remade Riven, they're probably doing well enough to remake Exile as well. In fact, I think they're probably just going to end up working through the entire series. Um, but I am going to be continuing to play through the original games. Um, well, I guess except the first one was the Real Mist remake, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think there's an awful lot of Riven left to do. Um, and then after that, I do have the fourth one in the series, which is uh, Revelation. So I'm fairly certain that I have played Exile before, I, I think. I, I think I kind of remember certain bits of it, but I don't know if it was from that or something else. Um, Revelations, I don't know if I've played before. But anyway, uh, we'll see how tonight goes and um, whether I make a start on three. Or again, I might just do a test to see if it actually works. I got it installed, I booted it up. It, it works to that point. I haven't actually started the game in it yet though, so I don't know if it has a problem with the video, the audio, or if it crashes or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, the, the, if there's not a lot of time left, I might just do a quick test, which I, I won't save as a video. But anyway, um, so again, this is this is the Steam version of, of two. This is from the uh, the original one, nineteen ninety seven, I think. Uh, but I'm playing it through Scum VM because it has a couple more options and it kind of fixes some of the problems. So. Uh, the version through Steam uses Scum anyway, but it uses its own version, which isn't as good. So I'm playing it through the proper, full version of ScumVM. Which seems to have been working pretty good. I haven't had any kind of lockups or crashes or any big problems. It's actually run very smooth. So... I'm actually really glad that I found ScumVM, because it really does help with uh, playing some of the older games. Anyway, uh, let's get the save game loaded up. And I can check audio. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, so save game. Uh, maybe. Touch loud, but I think that's fine. Mm 
can't actually get that much wider. Okay, anyway. Um, so yes, there's, as, as far as I can remember, there are two things that I still need to do. Uh, the fire marble thing and the microscope. Uh, I think the fire marble thing might be the end. Which means I think I have to do the microscope first, which I kind of want to do first anyway. Uh, so that is all the way back at the beginning. Let's see if I can find my way back. I still have the codes that I need for both of those things, uh, both the slider thing and the microscope thing with the buttons. Um, apparently both the codes are randomized. So the ones I have are going to be different from the ones that anyone else has. Okay, uh, what is the quickest way back? I guess it has to be this way. Uh, and then here, around through the beginner jungle bit. And into here. Which, this should lead back to the start, I think. I know I can probably just skip these bits, but I kind of, I, li I like going on the roller coaster ride. Alright, and forward! Again, doing this in VR with the updated graphics would look so amazing. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a good thing these doors open from this side. Oh, hang on. Ah. I guess that was just one of the little random videos sometimes you get. Hmm, okay. I still don't know if this chair is meant to do something. I guess not? I think it's probably just to open up the, the door from the other side. Maybe there's still something that I'm missing. Back down here to this thing. So it has the steam power going to it. I just need to open this hatch, which, according to the notes that were in the book, should be. Oh. Wait, I can't push the buttons.
Why can I not push the buttons? Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm not supposed to do this now? Wait, I thought... <laughs> I don't make this thing go back up. Thing. Oh, that goes down, that goes up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I think I need to move this all the way back up to the top. Good. Hopefully I didn't damage it by trying to push it down too far. Okay, so now, can I push the buttons? Oh yeah, okay. Five, five, two, two, one. There we go. Okay. So I think I can't push it down too far, otherwise this is probably going to damage whatever this is. Ooh, stars. Okay. So now, if I want to go down. Still just a lot of stars. Or maybe I want to break it? Those are stars. I think I might want to break it. Okay, I can't remember if this is a thing that I'm meant to be doing. This could is... okay. I'm at the point of the game where I can start getting some of the endings. Um, a couple of the bad endings you can get actually involve trapping yourself in in the trap book. I can't remember if this is something that you do want to do or don't. Um, actually, let me just save. Now let's see what this does. Yes. Okay, so the further down it is, the clearer you can see everything. But it still doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, so it doesn't get actually break it or anything. This is pretty, but it doesn't help me in any way. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go use one of the fire marbles then. closest one. 
Probably... Over here? There should be... A way to get down. I think it's gonna be this... Um, I'm just trying to remember. Oh no, it's from the one below, right? Okay. Down here. And push this button. There we go. Okay. All right, let's see. Um... we go okay so this is uh starting with the one on the right it should be 21 that's 5 10 15 20 21 and then the next one is 19 and then the next one is 14 and then 11 and then 7 There we go. <clears throat> yeah, okay. That looks like it's the same place. Yeah, it is. It's got the uh, the dish on the top of the little island. Yeah, okay. we're dealing with here. Oh. It's another cage. Yeah, see these are all the books. They all lead here. I guess you can use them to get back. Yeah, the different books lead to the different islands. Okay. Each one of these would go to a different fire marble. Okay, so I could just use these to leave. Something. Oh, hello. I apologize for the cage.
I'm afraid this situation has often required of me a more primitive code of conduct than I might otherwise have chosen. I am Gen. I assume you've heard of me. Oh, yeah, yes. book for you. Well, I suspect you have acquired some false information of who I am now. Not that my son would have lied to you about me. No, not Atris. It's just that, well, I'm sure he believes me to still be the depraved father I once was. Yes. I even tried to kill him once. <laughs> God, if I had accomplished that, who knows what I would have become. A great father, indeed, who tries to murder his own son. Thankfully, he trapped me on age five, a prisoner of my own creation. No books, no precious inks, no ages to link to, nothing but my own foolish ambitions. That was 30 years ago. 30 years, 30 lifetimes, what does it matter? No sentence could be too harsh for the man I was. But I have changed. To be sure, the deeds of my past can never be completely atoned for, but my mission was an honorable one. I'm sorry, this is all a bit awkward. I, it's been a long time since I've attempted to persuade any one of my intentions. Most of the people here have already made their minds up about me one way or another. I myself do not trust the words of most men, so I don't expect you to believe me. In the end, though, you may discover that I do have more than mere words to offer. Atris's choice of punishment has been hard on the people of Riven, and many have suffered because of it. The island has been steadily decaying for years, but according to my most recent measurements, it appears that the Fifth Age has entered its final days. Unless the villagers can be relocated soon, the island will collapse entirely and everyone will perish. It has taken me a long time to do it, but it appears that finally I'll be able to make some substantial amends to my past transgressions, especially in... Well, I'm afraid I've had some trouble with Catherine and the moiety. In any society, there will always be a small percentage of the population with rebellious tendencies. Before Catherine appeared, the moiety, as they call themselves, had been relatively harmless. I mean, the natives here are a fairly violent people by nature, but I'd almost come to accept their presence. It seemed inevitable under the circumstances Upon Catherine's return, however, their violence intensified considerably. It seems she'd become some sort of religious savior to them. And as far as I can tell, she's come to believe this herself. So I've had no alternative. I had to separate her from her people. I must admit, though, that my concerns were not entirely for her safety alone. The actions of Catherine and the moiety have put my own life at risk on numerous occasions. Consequently, the lives of all the people here. Therefore, I must ask you to refrain from any attempt to free her. Although I'm sure Atris desires it. Indeed, he must desire it with all his heart. But he is completely unaware of her recent state. Which brings me to the point of all of this. The linking book you brought with you. You're very fortunate to have recovered it. If I may. 
Thank you. Is he going to use it? Perhaps it would be best if you went through first. Oh, you're not given a lot you of time. need some time to decide. That is reasonable. Until then, as a token of my good intentions, I will allow you free access to my linking books, cruel though they may be, and to the rest of the Fifth Age. Please understand, there is nothing I want more than a chance to resolve matters between Atris and myself, especially in light of what has become of Catherine. But unless you are willing to demonstrate to me that your intentions are honorable, I cannot risk it. The sanctuary I've been writing for the Islanders is nearly complete. After all these years, it would be a shame if I were unable to finish it. The work I am doing is quite demanding. Please don't signal me unless you've decided to use the book. The switch will reset itself once you link from here. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, well. Now I'm not entirely sure whether I want to trap them in the book. Okay, so pushing the button is the signal to bring him around, I guess. Interesting. Okay, so... Again, this is the point where you can have multiple different endings. Now, I don't think it's possible to end the game without trapping Gen. I think you kind of have to do it. But there are a number of different ways it can be done, giving a number of different endings. Um, the first ending would have been to just click on the book right off the bat. I didn't realize that the, the timer was so short on that interaction. I wanted a little bit of time to actually think about it, but it didn't really give you any time. There's barely enough time to even just click on the book as it is. But he can't be summoned back and do it again. Um, I can't remember exactly what using the book does if we try and use it first. Yeah, because I think you have the choice of summoning him again and refusing to use the book a couple more times, but I think that just gets him pissed off and bad ending. I don't think you can do anything. Yeah, I think the, well, I don't know. No, you have to trap Gen in order to signal uh, Atris.
think. Yeah, that must be. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, so yeah, I guess the idea is to summon him back and then to use the linking book to trap him in it. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is do a quick save. Because I kind of want to go for the, the good ending. Um, but again, like in the first one, it's kind of easy to accidentally stumble into a bad one. Anyway. Okay. So, I guess... Can I actually... I don't know if I can reach anything else, though. Yeah, I think the only way to get out of here is... Well, if I trap him, how do I get out? Okay, let's call him up. Let's get him trapped in the book. This time I will try and be a little bit quicker clicking on it. Oh wait, can I not even use that now? Well, maybe I have to go back and back in. Okay, this should lead back to Starting Island? Yeah. He said something about the button resetting. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Hello again, game. I'm relieved you've returned. I thought perhaps you had decided against it. I shall follow you directly. Is this for one of the bad endings? Using the book should swap our places. Oh, we're outside the cage now. Okay. Right. Okay, so that's how why you need him trapped, so that you can get out of the cage. Okay, um, now that we're out, we need to have a look around. Um, there's still... Catherine was in one of the prisons. I think we need to try and save her. And I guess we need her to be able to summon Atrus? I guess that's how it works.
Alright, let's see what we got around here. Little doodads. Don't seem to do anything. I probably don't want to drink that. dark. That's not the trap book. Was this the fifth age book that he was working on? Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is already turned on, which is providing power to those books. There's a the ladder there, else is around here. Ooh, door's locked. Uh, where's the cage? Which I give, I guess it gives access back to the other books. Okay. I go back. I can go back to the Riven Islands if I want to. Where's the button? Oh, the button to open the door is gone. Well, I guess it just summons again. Okay, so there's no actual way out there. Um, let's see what's down here. Oh, this is his little, like, private bedroom. Very neat and tidy. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Book. Oh, uh, this is going to be another. Yeah, this is a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you want to go through and read this, by all means, I'm not going to read it out loud because this is a lot. I'm just doing a quick skim to see if there's anything that might be of use. Great work. Uh, searching for Catherine, blah, blah, blah. So much writing. <laughs> Jeez. Stranger has arrived. That's that's us. Members of this family seem particularly nice. And the kids were psychopathic and insane. Father's a homicidal megalomaniac or something? Actually, say something again. Fuck. 
cannot read that. Nah, there's no way. <laughs> it says something, but there's no way I can tell what that says. Okay. And there's this thing. And whatever this is. Oh, it like, pours water or something. Okay. Okay. Uh, something in language I do not understand. It's just going to be the same thing over again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. Ah, well, it's here? Wait, I thought I was supposed to be here to find Catherine. Am I supposed to be able to get through the doorway somehow? star key things. It's like one of the things was on the page. Okay, plays music. change what it plays. Uh, really can examine these so closely. I guess that they're just environmental storytelling. Okay, the only thing that I didn't really do anything with was this, but that's because I thought it was Locked out. Yeah, okay, so you can't actually use it. Where's Gim? Normally you can see him. Oh well. <laughs> like there's a secret door here. I don't see any way of opening it. Am 
Am I supposed to know that? I mean, there's only two chimes. It's kind of four different sounds. Oh, do I have to remember this? <laughs> Think ratchet, ratchet, ding, ding. <laughs> Sounds are there? Yeah, there's like a snap or something at the, at the start, and then two ratchet sounds, and then ding ding. Okay. Um, I hope I don't actually need to know that, but hopefully I remember it when the time comes. Alright, um, I don't think there's anything else I can do here, which means I guess I have to go back to Riven. So, okay, each of these books goes to a different island. Now... There was one of the fire marble marbles I never found. I just guessed the last one. Because it was the only like color and, and thing that was left over. So I've been to that one, that's the map island. Been to that one, that's the one with the beach. That's the starter. That I thought was the other island that had the locked door, but it turns out that the locked door just went into the same place. And that was on uh, this island here. So both of those went here. And then of course there's the big jungle island. Did I ever go to this one? I think this is where the last fire marble was. Um, starter, jungle, beach, map. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been to this one. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember that spinny fire marble thing. Okay. Just need to find Catherine. This must be where she is. Or this is where you find the key to be able to get out through that door, which then goes to her. It's a good thing I kept the slider numbers. Okay, what do we have here? ominous music. Uh, okay. Those are the sounds. Oh, okay. Um, snap. Ratchet, ratchet, ding, ding. That. 
Ratchet, ratchet. Ding, ding. the that it looks like there's a handle on the top right. What if I done that without putting the code in? Just to safety as soon as possible. You go back to the temple island and reopen the fissure. I know it's risky, but it's the only way to signal Atrus. I'll try to make it back there as soon as I can, but don't wait for me. Don't forget, the portal combination's in my journal. Good luck. She destroyed the wires. I do the right thing? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Gen was the bad guy, but, um... Why do I not have a mouse? Ah, okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, she destroyed these things. Now I can't go back up. I guess that just goes down. So what would I... What would have... I'm pretty sure I would have been able to come here without trapping Gen. So what would have happened? Would Catherine have refused to help? Am I doing the good ending or the bad ending? <laughs> If eventually you just catch it, or if you just do it a number of times and it figures, you might as well just have it happen. If this guy sucks so much, might as well give him a hand on, on this. Okay. I guess I'm going back through here? There's no other way. I'm guessing now I need to go back to the microscope thing, which I guess is that rift that they were talking about. Okay. 21, 19, 14, 11, 7. Uh, let's see this again. Okay. Oh, the cage is... Oh, that thing is there again. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't need to get back out there. I just need the right book. Um, I need the one for Sturger Island. Okay, 
get the elevator back up. And... Um, I guess go back around this way. everything is set up to lead you back to where you need to go. Break it now? Is that something about giving a signal or something? Um. Seem like it's gonna do anything. Am I supposed to put something there? Hmm. And close the lid again. To put the code back in? Uh, five, five. Two, two, one. Is there something I can do to, like, extend the bottom of this out or something? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. Hmm. Is there something I can do to, like, break this? Okay. 
Right, now it should work. Okay, let's break Riven. Kind of broke your world. There isn't much time. Where's Catherine? Where's the book? Atris! I don't know. It's an alternate ending where you can come here without bringing uh, Catherine. Just left us here. <laughs> oh, and we fell into the rift. Looks a lot like the rift from the first game. And that is Riven, the 1997 original version. Ugh, I don't know how much it differs from the newer one, but um, apparently some of the puzzles are a bit different. Um, I don't know if a lot of them have just been changed or if they've been dumbed down. Uh, it seems that some of them are a bit easier to figure out in the new version. And, um... Um, yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, some of the puzzles are a bit iffy, but they're kind of a nice level of difficult. Like, they're challenging, but you can figure them out. And it seems like some of the things that should have been changed, like, there should have been some hint that there were passages behind the doorways. That you can be stumbling around forever and not figure that out. But I don't think that was changed in the new one, so you still have to stumble around forever until you finally either look it up or accidentally discover that there is actually something behind those doors. Um, but overall, I really enjoy this one. I think I actually like this one better than the first Mist, which I think is understandable. The first one was a bit of an experiment, 
At the time, there wasn't really a lot of other games like that. So it was nice what they did with it. And kind of splitting things into different areas made it a little bit easier to figure out what to do there because everything you needed was right there in that area. Uh, the different age books. Whereas this uh, Riven kind of spreads it out a bit more, mixes it together. Uh, some of the bigger puzzles require you to get things from all over the island. But, um, still, I like Riven more because of that kind of cohesive uh, story and environment. It makes more sense to have everything kind of right there. And then each area has kind of different puzzles. And then bits of those puzzles kind of link together in order to find, uh, figure out the overarching puzzle. And then there's the different bits of the ending. Is this going to take me back to the main menu, or is it just a black screen? It might just be a black screen. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um... So yeah, I kind of like how Riven kind of has everything together as a series of islands. You can still travel back and forth between them, but it kind of makes a bit more sense. Um, in Mist, the different ages seemed a little too self-contained. And they weren't really part of a whole. Um, still not entirely sure what I think about the ending. Uh, I don't know if Gen was as bad as everyone was saying. I mean, he seemed to have done most of the work to get the people in order to move them to the Fifth Age. Now, I did skip over a lot of the written material, and there might be some stuff in, like, Catherine's notes and in Gen's journal uh, that would have cast a clear light as to who was the good guy and who was the bad guy. As it seemed like Gen was actually trying to help at the end, but I think his leadership style was more tyrannical than anything else. So I think even if he was working towards saving the people, it wasn't for good reasons. But anyway, uh, that is Riven. Um, so there's a little bit of time before I have to call it a night, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here for uh, recording purposes. Uh, so to those of you who are watching this and, uh, well, I guess on YouTube, uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you're enjoying the series so far. Um, I know these might not necessarily be as good as the remakes, but then considering what they did to some of the puzzles, I don't know if the new ones are actually better. They look better. I don't know if the games are any better. Uh, but anyway. Um, so yes, again, thank you to those who are watching the series. Um, they've been a lot of fun so far. And there's still a couple more to play through. I have, at the very least, the third and the fourth one. I don't know if I have number five. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'll catch you in the next one.